See? That's that's Tim the Tap Man there. Oh, it did. Doesn't he? Uh, isn't he in Home Improvement? Yes. Tim the Tap Yeah. Uh, Tim, huh? Tim the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> that I might... said wow. <laughs> that might be the that that might be the cold intro right there. I made some fucking crazy ass bets this time, motherfucker. Oh, okay, we'll see. All right, welcome back to Against All Odds. I'm Nick. I'm Hess. And uh, this is our betting podcast. Brought to you in part by Los Pollos Hermanos. Jerome was mad at you a couple weeks ago. Why? Because you didn't say that and he had planned something. I don't oh. I don't remember what he planned, but you'd said it like fucking four weeks in a row. <laughs> and then you didn't say it and he was like, that motherfucker, it's so Hess. Wow. Well, uh, he could cut it from an old podcast and slide it in there. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's talk about last week. We'll go with you first. One and one and one and two. Yeah, one and two with one in the waiting, right? Yeah. Okay, so you bet you bet your million dollars. You bet two fifty on four things. One of them, the Kyler Murray, two hundred fifty thousand to win MVP, to win four point two five million. We obviously have to wait on. <clears throat> right, but yeah. obviously, like that money's not there because right. you turned in your ticket and they take your money, so you no refunds. So basically, I have you losing five hundred and twenty-two thousand last week. Right, right. Mind you, if that comes through, you'll win your two fifty right. plus the four point two back. Right, right. So that means you're down for our season for minus five hundred and fifty-eight thousand six hundred and eleven dollars. It's perfect. You're doing great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Uh, you won one. You won one bet. You beat. Uh, you had Henry 105 yards. 100. That was close. Yeah, it was closer than I thought it was going to be. I actually. kept checking that. Well, because they got their asses spanked. Mm-hmm. So you know, when I saw they were down whatever 31 to 13, I'm going, because he only had like 70 yards. I'm like, I don't know if he's going to fucking get it. I'm like, didn't he have like the 70 yards though? Almost at halftime. Like, he was, like, more than halfway there at halftime. It very well could have been that, but I was just, like, because they were down big, so I'm going, they're going to have to throw. They're going to have to throw. And somehow he managed to get, I think, 112. Yeah, because I, so I was like, thank God. I'm I like, think it's wow. one of those things where they know, like, yeah, they have to throw, but they need to, yeah. they need well, to yeah. keep, keep them honest, too. So uh, You had Colts, Bills, Chargers, Bucks, money line. So glad the Chargers fucking blew a 17-point lead. Yeah, I actually thought you were going to win that. And then all of a sudden the yeah, Chargers yeah. just were like, no, we can't we can't let you win this. Oh, the, the Giants should have went to overtime with the Bucks on Monday night. Yeah, but you'd already lost by then, so it didn't matter. Like, you no, know what no, I mean? but still. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't look so hot. I didn't watch much of that game, but I watched a little bit. I, of did, it. I, I didn't either. I just saw all the shit online Tuesday morning. And then you had the Steelers Ravens under, and that you only lost that by a couple points. Yeah, it was. I think fifty two is what it ended up being. Something like that. Yeah. All right. So and then I went to two out of my four bets. Um, I lost the Rams with Goff throwing for two fifty four. They got their ass kicked, but only in one quarter, which is weird. Yeah. Um. So I lost two fifty there. I had a three team teaser. I had Packers over the Vikings, Chiefs over Jets, Steelers over Ravens. I lost that thanks to the Packers. But I did win the Raiders money line over the Browns, which got me three hundred thousand. And then the Bills money line with Allen scoring a rushing T D got me six hundred and forty two thousand. So I won four forty two this week. So now for the season I'm at two point seven I'm up. There you go. So that well, that's our bet so far. So now we're going to go to week nine. For my first bet of week nine, uh, I bet for the uh, Vikings-Lions game. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Dalvin Cook is the first touchdown scorer. 250K to win 850K. Wow, so that's all that's got to happen. So if someone else scores, you're fucked. First touchdown. I don't know. See, because it just says first touchdown. No, no, that's what I mean, touchdown. First touchdown. Yeah, field field goal wouldn't matter. Yeah, so yeah. So Dalvin Cook needs to score the first touchdown 
of, of, of from either team. Okay, that's an yeah. interesting bet. You're just throwing you know, your money around now. <laughs> I ex- it's what I'm going to do. You'll see. It's funky. <laughs> it's funky this week. I'll tell you that much. All right, my first bet: Ravens money line over the Colts. Uh, I think the Colts are favored by two and a half, something like that. One and really? a half. One and a half. Something. Yeah, one and a half. It says on here. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, so just two. Which, fi- that surprises me, but okay. That's why I took the money line. Two fifty to win two fifty. Not the biggest gamble in the world, but yeah, you know, you're up four point seven or two, and you want to play safe. I, think I get it. Yeah, well, not exactly, but I just like uh, the bet. You know. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm up on you three point two. I'm just gonna ride it out. But I, that's what I would do. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get crazy and you're going to come down and join me. No, I don't need to write it out because you're making fucking crazy Dalvin Cook bets. So Yeah. No, that, could, like that, that. Like that could easily win. Yeah, I like that bet. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, you could also easily lose. You yeah, know, there's very a lot, well. There's a lot up in the air there, a little luck involved. But hey. Well, he did score four fucking touchdowns last week, so you would hope to God they go, hmm, maybe we should fucking hand the ball off to fucking him more. Yeah, uh, 100%. I, I wouldn't even let Cousins throw. I might just put him in a QB and make Cousins sit on the bench, run the wild. Yeah, I don't even know who their vi- va- backup. I don't know who their <laughs> backup is. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I either. would just put him in and be like, "Look, you're handing the ball <laughs> off to fucking Dalvin Cook. Something that's happens, run. I, I, that's never happened. I'm assuming maybe back in like the 30s or 40s or 50s. But there's never been a team where they just haven't thrown a pass all game, right? Oh, back like, that in the I bet, Army. I'm sure back way back. Way I'm talking in the NFL, like not throwing a pass. It's probably happened, but it's been a while. Yeah, it would be interesting, but I mean, because I know like Army Navy or like Army Navy, they run the triple option. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) and they do that all the time. Um, Jesus, that rum's Uh, not going down good. Yeah, my sec. Oh, it's going down really good. <laughs> uh, the my second bet: Panthers Chiefs. I took the over fifty two and a half. Another over, huh? Yeah, uh, two fifty to win two thirty five eight forty nine. I mean, I could see them winning forty five to ten. So, I don't know. the pa- The Panthers are interesting. They got a good defense, but I don't think it's going to stack up against the Chiefs. I, I, I think McCaffrey's back too. I uh, think. According to most fantasy things, he's back. Yeah. Because so. Davis was projected to do like 2.9 oh. this week. So I'm like, oh, I, yeah. better not, I better not start him. But I will be lo- <laughs> I will be looking uh, Sunday morning to see who I should start, Davis or McKenna. Right. E- exactly. Exactly. Okay. My second bet, I got the Texas money line over the Jags plus right. Watson over 283 and a half yards. Two hundred and fifty thousand to win four hundred and twenty six five seventy eight. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I figure he's gonna throw for three hundred, right? That's like a everybody throws for three hundred now, unless you're golf, fucking cock. No, actually, I think he did throw for three hundred eventually, but it was like such garbage time. Right. Well, hey, that's what I mean. That's really all that matters. Yeah, because I mean, Jacksonville's starting that that rookie. Yeah. They're not starting because what's his face broke his hand or some shit or. Well, which made me think: Are they, what, is Texas going to be up and then just run the ball? But I doubt it. You never know. But yeah, yeah it, see, and that's the thing. Like sometimes, like you know, I don't think these things all the way through when I make my bets, <laughs> and then I'll go, "Wow!" Like on Sunday, I'll be sitting there, I'll be going, "Wow!" I don't know why I fucking did that bet. Like I don't know, like that. Like, it's just weird how, like, one day I'll be in a completely different headspace, oh, and then, yeah. like, the next day I'll go, why the fuck, why did I make that bet? Like, that, that that's, like, that's weird. Well, I like, like, sometimes, like, when you bet the, uh, uh, what's his name, for the Titans to rush for 105, and I was like. Derek Henry. Yeah, I'm like, there's no way he's going to lose this, right? Because if they lose, they're still going to give him the ball. <laughs> and you won. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. You know, and then he there's other with like 112 yards. So. And then like and then your 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 parlay with all those teams, I was like, all these teams should win. Which team's going to fuck it up for him is what I was thinking the whole time. Well, yeah, I mean the Chargers, like I said, they had like a 21 to 3 lead or something oh, like yeah, that. I don't think like, I didn't watch that at the end of that game. 
I'm like, Jesus Christ. I was like, oh, here they go. They're going to blow it. Yeah, I was dropping my kids off. I dropped them off. You're pooping? Oh, yeah. my bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I drop, drop, drop the kids off, get back in the car, and I turned on uh, 98.7, and th- that game was on. And I'm uh, going, that's weird. I'm like, I don't Usually it's just like a talk show, like an uh, ESPN talk show. Right. So I was like, I saw, so, you know, the, so then the guy's like, oh, this is for the ball game. The Denver Broncos make this extra point and they defeat the Chargers. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I just checked the score like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell? There was penalties. There it was. There yeah. Was, there was a lot of shit. So then, you know, they, they kick it and they're like, oh, there's a, there's a flag on the field. And I'm going, please be on fucking Denver. I'm like, please be on fuck. And then they go illegal, and I go, or they go illegal formation. I go, oh fuck yeah! And it's like on the defense, penalties decline, end of ball game. I'm going, oh, what? I'm like, what? Yeah, they had too many people on the right side. I didn't even know that was a penalty. I don't think. Apparently, needed the day. Everything's a penalty nowadays. Yeah, seems like it. You get a penalty for going poop. Mm, illegal pooping. Yeah. Wow. You all right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so all right, it's your third bet. It's my bet again. Didn't I just do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did, you did, you did. Fuck. All right, all right. My third bet. I have. This is part of the Miami Dolphins at Arizona Cardinals game. I have Tua Tungavailoa under two hundred and thirty nine and a half yards passing. Okay. And Kyler Murray rushing for more than forty five and a half. Okay. Two fifty to win six twenty seven oh thirty two. Oh, that's 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 interesting. Um, I like that bet. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I was just, I I, I and my last bet is another parlay like in game thing. Uh huh. I want I wanted to do more, but it said I couldn't. I don't know why, but it was weird. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I I mean I don't know. Tua, he obviously had a bad game against the Rams. I mean, he didn't. He didn't need to be good. But, no. You know, he threw for 93 yards. Yeah, he didn't do shit. Their whole team didn't so, do shit. I'm hoping that... But their, def- know, their defense looked good. Yeah. I'm hoping that Kyler or uh, the Cardinals defense can hold him to less than 240 yards. And I'm pretty sure Kyler can rush for more than 40, 45 yards. Yeah. But, yeah. I, mean, I, would, I would hope. You would think so. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. But yeah, I don't know. Two two thirty nine is pretty low. Yeah, it is. So it that's is. that's the only thing I'd be worried about. But yeah, it is. Kids in a second start. But then again, like I, honestly, if I was gonna pick, I would pick lower than higher because I mean he didn't. Yeah. I mean, it's but funny. It just scares me because the Cardinals. I mean, their defense has been playing a lot better this year. I think they're actually in the top ten in total defense, which is a shocker. I mean, granted, they have played some shittier teams, but and they gave up like. 700 yards to the Seahawks, but I mean, they're still ranked in the top 10 total defense. So, like, they were 31st last year. So, I mean, they uh, really have yeah. made a dramatic jump. So, I'm hoping that it's, you know, something that they're building to. It doesn't help that you had two players on the defense are on the COVID list not playing. And then, yeah. But they made the trade. They picked up Marcus Golden from the Giants. He's going to take, take over for uh, Chandler Jones. And then they also, uh, who else? Uh, they signed Jonathan Joseph to the practice squad. I don't, I don't think he's playing this week. I don't, I don't think he's going to really do anything ever. Yeah, I, I think that's total. I was going to say trash. If he, yeah, if he's in, you're, you're not. You, you, yeah, you you don't want him playing. No, but they did also get Jalen Thompson back, um, and I think they're getting Max Williams back, but I'm not sure. So. I thought so they were, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but yeah. Jalen Thompson back there with Buddha. I like it. Buddha's been playing pretty good lately. Yeah, Buddha's been Buddha is uh Buddha's been killing it. Yeah. As long as he's not yeah. getting caught from behind by DK. <laughs> hey, whatever, man. It's it, it's funny because he made a great play and then yeah. like, all everyone fucking thinks of is him getting uh, caught. Oh I know. From, yeah. I know. I don't know if I, I know you probably didn't see it, but they had like a uh, cardinal. He was actually mic'd up for that game. Oh, really? Buddha, Buddha was. Mm-hmm. So like he's he's running. So I saw the clip on uh, it's like Cardinals dot com or their Facebook or something or Twitter. But anyways, I, at the end of it, he's like he 
he gets tackled, you know, and he's he gets up and he's like, you know, players are coming over. He's like, how the fuck did he catch me? <laughs> he's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. That's funny. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. That's hilarious. All right, here's my third bet. All right, third bet. I'm going to read this as I typed it out on my little phony phone here. Oh, boy. Five team teaser. Mm. Pats minus one and a half over Jets. Seahawks plus three over Bills. Titans half a point over the Bears. Chiefs four and a half over the Panthers. And Bucks one and a half over the Saints. Uh, betting two fifty to win eight hundred and twenty five thousand. Jesus, okay. Yeah, so some don. So that's a donkey bet right there. Yeah, I just need five fucking teams to pull it out. So that should yeah. that shouldn't be a problem. Not in the slightest. So man, that's my third bet. I don't know. I I just wanted to go for a little something this week. Te- tease it up a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I I mean. I don't. It just like like you say, it's gonna be hard to hit just because of the five teams. But yeah. I mean, it could happen, and it probably will. I but, I would love for it to happen. So yeah, but you know, yeah, I'm sure it will. I told everybody, um, I told everybody when I was up a million, I was moving to Vegas, and everyone was like, "Okay, see you later." And I was like, "Well, fuck yeah. you guys." Um, Bye. Yeah, but uh, I'm like, well, I'm taking all the money too because I'm gonna need it to bet. So right, then they kind of wanted me to stay. <laughs> Uh, so, all right, so my f- go ahead. No, I can say is this is this now is this a doozy or did you save the best for last? Or are you just another bet? Just, just another an, bet. just another bet. All right, just another bet. Uh, it's uh, Raiders at Chargers. I have Raiders money line. Okay. And Josh Jacobs anytime touchdown score. Okay. Two fifty. To win four hundred and forty two thousand six hundred and twenty six dollars. I like that bet. Yeah. Although the Chargers fucked you last week, they might fuck you this week by winning. <laughs> then you probably will. then you just fucking hate the Chargers. I'm, the fucking the funny thing is is like I actually like their coach, Anthony Lynn. I like their coach. I think he's like a personal cool dude. Like yeah, personally I like him. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, mean. I don't know if I want him to coach my team. I know, I know. Unfortunately, but I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know. Like, they they really don't have that great of a team. Like, I realize that they've lost like every game by less than like a touchdown or three points or some stupid shit. But like, I feel I feel bad because I'm like, I want I want them to do good. Not that I like the Chargers, but like so, I like. Their sounds coach. like you like them a little bit. <laughs> yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Huh. Um, their coach, their coach reminds me of uh, Stringer Bell. <laughs> Stringer Bell, really? <laughs> I don't know why. Me, I don't know why. Me either. Um, I I think they're pretty good. I mean, especially on defense, they're really good. Christ, what? Uh, it says <laughs> Josh Jacobs questionable. <laughs> Oh my god! But this, ah, god damn it, he better fucking play. I don't care if he plays one play. Well, you, yeah, you better I'm hope calling, he plays more than one play. I'm calling John Gruden. That'll teach him. Yep. All right, here's my last bet. This probably isn't gonna win, but I decided to do it anyways. Um, oh, you got a, a 16 team parlay? It's just two teams. It's okay. just two teams. It's the Broncos money line over the Falcons, okay. and okay. the Lions money line over the Vikings. Oh, Okay. I'm betting 250000 All right. If those two little fuckers win, I'll get 1.766 back. There you go. So it's probably not going to happen, but I thought, what the fuck? Could be a doozy. Right. You know, win that, that and my teaser, and I'll be up $5 million. Yeah. Like I said, and I'm only losing 250 I wanted to make something. I'm only going to lose the 250 and then I have a chance to win something big, so... Right, for sure. Like my uh, my probably not going to happen bet. You're probably not going to happen bet. This is Nick's probably not going to happen bet of the week. Brought to you by? Brought to you in part by? Malibu. Snickers. Oh, I was thinking Malibu strawberry. Well, we could do that. We, it, brought to you in part by? Malibu strawberry rum. Uh, Mix it with Mountain Dew to spice up your Caribbean passion. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you drink Mountain Dew or Diet Mountain Dew? I put regular Mountain Dew in it. Ah, uh, that seems a little. I'm assuming su- a little sweet to me. Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. It's a hundred percent delicious. I want you guys to try it. Uh, you know, we actually meant to. Uh, I sell the Malibu at my store. It's like 10, yeah. 10 bucks a bottle or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, and You'll we, pick some up for Monday. We just forget. See, Monday's yeah. a bad day for me, though. I don't want to drink. Uh, you know what I mean? Your truck on Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I get up at 2 well, o'clock in the morning. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll, I can get you to do it on this show next time. Drunk can sit in and just try it a little bit. Maybe he can make a pick. He'll be like yeah. sitting, sitting back there butt naked. <clears> be like, I'm going to bet on the Cowboys. He could do the Buffalo Bill with his uh, shit tucked and then drink. That Buffalo Bill talk's going, you know, it's kind of going down a little bit because, like, they... It is a little bit. And I, it, it I, might I, go down even more if they lose to the Seahawks. Yeah. Although they're still going to they're still gonna win that division, I think, unless Miami uh, beats the Cardinals. Yeah. I don't think they will. I was going to bet on the Cardinals, but then Miami, looked, their defense looked really good against the Rams, so... That'd be interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what they do against the Cardinals. Well, and didn't Goff fumble twice? Yeah, because he was getting fucking creamed. He, so they were just blitzing like motherfuckers or what? Yeah, blitzing, and right. then like, and he had no time, and they couldn't figure it out. Like uh, they, okay. you know, I just didn't know, but I, I was, I, I thought I remember hearing that he fumbled twice, which is seems weird. No, for, no, yeah, and then. He probably should have thrown two or three more interceptions because they like bounced oh. off the Dolphins' hands. Wow! But they scored all their points in the second quarter. I I saw that uh, one of the Dolphins' assistant coaches tested positive for COVID nineteen today. Uh, and the do- and the and the Dolphins are in like uh, whatever their NFL's intensive protocol COVID protocol. Well, I saw before we started this podcast, I was on Twitter, and Cousin Sal, who also has a podcast called Against All Odds, which I totally forgot, um, he made a bet with Arizona, uh, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Oh. It was 115 to win 270, and he was doing it in spite of Trey Cr- Clay Travis, because they okay. they're on a... Show together, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, with uh, the girl and the other dude. Yeah, so like I it can't was, think of her name uh, at the moment, but is it Rachel? I know Meadows. Rachel, not Rachel Meadows. Um, Banana? No. Yeah, is that Banana. it? Yeah, um, Rachel Banana. So, but it, so it's pretty yeah. fun. But he said he tweeted out his video link, and then he said this was in before the Arizona game was canceled, and that's as I was coming in here. I'm like, wait, what? And I was like scrolling through. And the, I didn't see anything, so he might have just been I hope joking. Not. No, I mean, yeah, because uh, uh, that makes total sense because uh, Clay Travis is like a raging di- uh, Republican. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, totally. He was fucking with him. Uh, I looked on CBS right before we came in here. It's still, it was still. It would have said postponed or TV. Well, I would have got a guy. I would have got an alert. Yeah, for sure. Right. You need an alert maybe on the Raiders if you're going to bet on them. Make sure Josh Jacobs is actually playing. Yeah, so it just says uh, Max Williams could have a role on Sunday. But you didn't bet on him, so who cares? Yeah, I didn't. Y- you got the two quarterbacks, and one of them you got oh, running. And Booter, Booter, Booter <laughs> Baker has his cast off. Booter does. <laughs> Booter. That's how, that's Booter how, Baker. That's how, that's how Gambo says it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Gambo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. Booter. Booter Baker. I think when you're spewing, spewing, now now I'm talking like you. <laughs> spewing, out. Spewing shit like Booter. I think it's time to call this fucker. I think it is. All right, well, I'm up 3.2. I like that. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully you drop another 5K or 500K <sighs> this week or something. I hope not. I hope I hit all fucking four. Jesus. Jesus. You need to be up five just to get even now. You know, fuck I'm it. only down five fifty two. Yeah. So if, if I go for four for wow. <laughs> if, I, if I go four for four, <laughs> I'll be up pretty good. He's trying to get another Wendy's commercial in here. Yeah. Wendy's four for four. All right. Five. Well, oh, 
five dollar foot long. It's not Wendy's. I know. You fucking lost your mind. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. Jeez. And, and you're crazy. Jeez. I said Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. Will you uh, just let me I, end this fucking thing? I, I've already lost it. Have a great night, folks. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And comment oh. if you have any idea what the hell Hess is saying. Later. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>